Hey everybody, Steve X here, bringing you some more news on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So this is the week. The game has launched Tuesday of this week, November 13th, and everyone has been pulling their all-nighters and exploring the new options in the game, uh, whether it's figuring out how to use the the pick 10 class system or playing with the zombies or the new features in theater mode. Um, everyone's been playing around with it and it's been getting great reviews so far. So what we're going to talk about today is the changes in theater mode. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about the highlight reel option. Now I mentioned this in a video last week, but now that the game has been released, let's go ahead and play around with it. And I will show you how to create a highlight reel and you can get started creating some great highlight clips of your video game exploits. So let's get started. So here is the top level interface for the theater mode. Now let's go ahead and show you how to get in there. Let's go ahead and back out here and I will show you, you come in from the multiplayer menu, you will have an option at the bottom for theater. Now, once you're in there, you want to select the film to use. So when you select that, the first thing it brings up is an option for recent games. Now you'll notice you can scroll back there. It's in chronological order. Um, showing you all of your most recent games. Now it shows you some really cool details that can help you pick a game, such as whether your team won, what your score was, your KD, um, really good stuff. Now if you scroll down, you can get to recent victories. So now you're filtering that list based on victories, just games that your team won. So this is very handy for uh, filtering through this long list of games that you will inevitably build up. Um, some other options on here are bookmarked films. Now I have a couple bookmarked. Now after every game in your game menu, the after action report, you have an option to hit X to bookmark a game and it'll show up here. So make sure after you have that epic round where you just have a 50 to one KD or something like that, make sure you hit that X in the after action report to bookmark it. So here's the films and I currently don't have anything in there yet. And the next one is edited films. This is where you will find films that you've already created and edited and saved. This is where you will find those, which is in that option. And that brings us back to the beginning. Um, and I cannot highlight enough, make sure you bookmark your films. Uh, it makes it so much easier to find them afterwards. Uh, don't make fun of my scores. I know they're not uh, very impressive there, but anyway. Now you'll see there's also an option here for podcast film. Uh, you have to actually have 10 people subscribe to your channel to, in order to watch that. Uh, there's more details on callofduty.com where you can see the details for that. Um, render video is not available yet because we have not created and watched our video uh, in, as a full playthrough yet. So let's get started. We're gonna go up and select the Create Highlight Reel option. Go ahead and select that, and that will start loading the video clip into memory. Um, so what you'll see is the map name, the game type, um, whatever title you gave it when you saved it, or you can edit that title and the duration. Uh, the first thing you see is options to start highlight reel with default options, or you can go in and customize the highlight reel. Let's go ahead and do that. So you can choose players. Is it myself or people on my team or everyone? Best moments. We'll look at that a little bit more. Maximum clips. Uh, the max is 20 that you can select. Um, stars is one and above currently selected. Now, star rating is based on the amount of points that that action granted you, whether it's capturing a DOM point or getting a kill uh, for instance, when you kill people on a domination point, you get more points than if you just kill them running around or versus a score streak kill. So that's how that works. So taking a closer look at the at the filter, you'll see there's explosive kills, vehicle kills, just gun and melee kills only. So you can filter out so you don't see score streak kills. And you can see game mode scoring, so like capturing DOM points or planting explosives and whatnot. Um, and best moments just kind of takes all of those. And you see for transition type, I chose fade. I just think that looks cleaner than uh, the cut. And so we're gonna go ahead and choose start highlight reel. So what this does, this is going to render the full video into memory and it's gonna run through. Now I'm not speeding this up. This is how the process actually works. It's gonna speed through and it's gonna slow down when it recognizes that there is a kill or a point gaining activity. So how does it figure that out? If you see the timeline there on the bottom, there are some white, red, and green tick marks in that timeline. Um, all those correspond to some type of point generating activity. Um, the most notable are the red tick marks or any place you died and the green tick marks or any place you got a kill. So it's going to speed between those and figure out which ones are based on your criteria worthy of being included in the clip. It will then slow down and it will go through to record that and add that to your clip memory. So that is how it generates these clips. 
So this is going to go through. Uh, let's go ahead and speed this up because I'm sure you don't want to sit through five minutes watching this. Here we go. Speed it up. Speed it up. So there we go. Now we're coming up to the end here and you will see it will bring up the score and record that as well because with, that's one of the options we had selected. So you can see how those options play into creating the highlight reel. So now that that's done, it'll show you the timeline editor. Here you can view each clip individually. You can delete some if you don't like them. Um, basically, it's showing you every single clip that it has selected and put into your timeline. Uh, each one is a separate small clip of a few seconds. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and click X at the bottom. You can see there for preview film. And that will show you the entire film. Now that's going to go ahead and run through at regular speed all of your clips. Now you see that fade transition between the clips there. Uh, that's because I selected that fade instead of just a straight cut through. Now you can go ahead and watch this and make sure it looks the way you want. I'm going to go ahead and speed through here and get to the end. So this should be near the end here. I think this is the last kill. You see, take him out. A little sloppy, but it worked, did the job. And then it shows you your score. So that completes the clip. So what you want to do here now is you're going to click on Y, which get, brings up the film options. Um, personally, I like to do this. Uh, you can merge all clips, which will make them one clip. And then you can actually go in and start adding more clips. Because again, your max is 20 clips that you are allowed to have in the timeline editor at one time. So we didn't really need to drop that down to one to merge them, but I went ahead and did. I just think it's cleaner to work with since that's how I want it. So um, we don't need film options anymore. Go back out. We're going to hit B to go back out to the parent menu. And you'll see there's some options in here. Uh, we don't need options. No, this doesn't give you film options. This is your general options for what you view in the in the clip. You can go back in the timeline editor if you want to make any changes there. But we're going. what we're going to go to here is upload film. Now this is where you can select a title. Uh, let's go ahead and change this here. I am going to make this theater test. And there we go. And description, I'll just leave that where it is. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. Now what save is going to do is it's going to save it to your system. And that says it is successful there. Now one more thing to note here, if you see in the top right corner, there's the uh, little indicator there for films. It says two of eight. That's how many of my system save slots that I have currently used. Currently two. Um, go ahead and resaving. It's not really doing anything there. And so what we're going to do from here is go to end film. And you're going to say yes. And that's going to bring you back out to the main theater menu. And now this is a little tricky. If you look closely, you'll notice that the film you just created is not currently selected. It is the gameplay that you base that off of. So what we need to do is go into select film. And then you will go down to edited films. And so based on title, you can tell there's the film we just created at a minute 30 in length. Sounds good. Now we're going to go down to render video. Now what this will do is upload it to the Call of Duty website where you can access it via your Elite. Uh, you can upload three total on your account. You'll see I have one of three up in the top right corner. And so that's going to go ahead and start rendering now. So what you'll see during this process, you can see the time changed to a minute 30 seconds for the total clip duration. So it's going to load it up and it's going to start rendering this video. Some of it will go real time, some of it will start to slow down at more complex scenes. Uh, but this process can take, uh, it can take 10 to 15 minutes. And what this is doing is it's rendering that video and it is uploading it to the Call of Duty Elite site on your account. Again, you have three clips you can upload to that account and view, and you are limited to two minutes per clip. So if you go and create your own custom montage, uh, you can make it as badass as you want and you can keep it on your own site. And if you have screen capture software, you can uh, make those as long as you want and you can record them that way. But you will not be able to upload them to the Call of Duty Elite unless they are two minutes or less. So let's go ahead and speed through the rest of this process. Yada, yada, yada. Here we go. So there we go. That should be finishing up right now. I mean, what you'll see when that completes is it will bring you back to the menu and it'll show you a link to the Call of Duty Elite TV channel where when you log in, you can actually see your video clips there. 
Now, a uh, quick note on that, the Call of Duty Elite team actually reviews these from time to time, and if they find some with some epic gameplay they want to highlight, they will highlight that on the main Elite TV channel. So you could be highlighted there, uh, but no promises, but that's pretty cool. And so that, my friends, is how you create a highlight reel in Black Ops 2 Theater Mode. And I hope I've given you the tools and tips that you need to create your own Michael Bay-esque montages. And uh, if you go out and create some really cool ones and post them online, shoot me a link. I'd love to check them out and see what you guys are able to do with these really, really cool tools that Treyarch has given us. So if you like the video or if you think the information was helpful for you, go ahead and give it a like. I really appreciate it. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel and you want to find out lots more Black Ops 2 news that I've got coming down the road, go ahead and click subscribe. I promise lots more content coming up shortly. Thanks a lot and good hunting.